growing up being that ugly friend. I've always had this terrible tease when I was little. I had my bracelet. I had it for two years, but it didn't really help. If I laugh really bad, I will got this kind of picture. Like yeah, I'll just be showing my gum. I had all these names like Big Tits Girls. Um, I mean they're all in Chinese. I don't even know how to translate that in English. Even my girl's friend would make fun of me with the boys. This chubby face、I、hated it. I once had this kind of hairstyle, where I used glue, like seriously glue, to glue the, this two part of my hair and be like this, just to make that my face look smaller. My teacher in my middle school once called me in class that I have such a thick skin on my face. Like in Chinese, it's like 厚脸皮 It means that you have no shame. All because I was joking with my friend before the teacher comes into the classroom, so we were laughing. And then after that, all the boys in the class start to call me that. No one ever called me pretty. Growing up as a girl, I never got the compliment of "Oh, she's such a pretty girl." No. So the thing about having makeup, I think it, it's really it acts. As a weapon to protect myself from it, my skin was really dark. And in Asia beauty standard, the brighter your skin is, the prettier you are, which is totally untrue. I was like this for my whole middle school year. I kind of gave up to be like a girly girl, even though I kind of like it. I cut my hair short just so that others won't compare me much with the other girls. And then I got into cosplay. I did a lot of cosplay. I started my first cosplay at the age of twelve. That's how I met makeup. I got to learn a lot of makeup technique because in cosplay, you kind of—it's not good for you just being you. You know, you gotta be the character, and each character looks different.、I、got to learn actually tons of makeup skill. In my years of cosplay, so when did I become the pretty one? Is after I graduated my high school. Because look, here's the thing: I know how to do makeup, I know how to do cosplay makeup, but I never actually tried those like daily makeup. It wasn't like a normal thing for Chinese high school girls to know how to do makeup at my time. I don't know. Maybe like now it's different. This one time happened like four years ago. My friend, really good friend of mine, she was like sitting next to me, and we were like chatting with a bunch of other friends. And suddenly, she just said this out of nowhere. She she was like, "Oh my gosh, you're so pretty!" It was the moment that I realized I'm not the ugly friend anymore. Me before, if I show any interest to anyone, it would become a joke to them. In my middle school, there was once a girl being really good friend with my crush at the time. I am really bad at hiding my intention, emotion. I'm really bad at hiding something. So if I like someone. They will know. Let's call him James. Then the girl come up to me one day. You know that James is kind of like you too. And I was like, Are you serious? I just showed that little bit of like I don't know. I I didn't re- quite believe it because I'm I was still the ugly friend at the time. So I know that I showed a little bit of happy when she told me that. And she's like, "Yeah, I can actually help you to talk to him." Exactly like the classic scene in Mean Girl. I was like so happy. I went home and waited for her message. My crush James texted me with a screenshot of that girl's chat window with him. The girl says, "Like, do you know that Yixing is actually having a crush on you?" And he was like, "No way." Then she's like. Yeah, I kind of teased her a little bit today, and she was so happy. It was so gross. 
you should at least let her know it's not possible it was humiliating but i'm really thankful for the guy to actually send me the screenshot otherwise i wouldn't know until today that it was actually a joke to make me look bad something that i am still practicing to this day is to accept to accept the fact that it happened only accept the fact that it happened not meaning that you should not try to change it after we done all of this the most important part the most the most i could not stress enough is the eyelashes check out my lashes it's a book this is incredible i'm in love what i want to share here is that even though we live in a world that we don't have much control over what the beauty standard is what other things do and say one thing you and i can control is the way we dealing with it i just happen to choose the way which emphasize my good part on my face and embrace the non-perfect as a personal style and doing makeup makes me happy. One just has so many options when you thought you had none, right?